in this film, making a documentary about how the airplanes changed the world, it was really important to go out and shoot the real world. Hi, I'm Erroneous Bosch. A couple of weeks ago on Reddit, somebody mentioned that yellow captions were used because on VHS, yellow colours don't get as smeary as blue colours do. And I suggested that I could probably test that, so now I have. What I've done is I've taken some sample footage from actually one of the training videos. This is from the Age of Airplanes video in the Resolve training material. And I stuck some captions over it, which you can see here. I've done two uh, sets. I've done uh, yellow, red and blue, and I've done them with and without an outline. I'm going to dump that across onto a VHS tape using uh, my Intensity Pro capture card. So let's give that a go and let's see how bad it looks. In this film, making a documentary about how the airplanes changed the world, it was really important to go out and shoot the real world. Okay, let's go back. You can see that the, the colours there are really smeary. The blue's absolutely ruined. The red's pretty ruined as well. The yellow's actually quite clear. The yellow with the black border's nice and sharp. The red's not great. The blue actually doesn't look terrible. It's really important to go out and So you can see where the black, blue, red and magenta look pretty terrible. And uh, green, cyan and yellow and white. They've got a lot of luminance. So you see the sharp edges of the luminance around it. At least that's what I think happens. Anyway, so the next time you decide that, like me, you want to go and make some... Anyway, the next time you decide you want to make some crazy cat videos that uh, nobody's going to watch on YouTube, then bear in mind that your captions should probably be yellow or white and not blue or red if you want to record it on the VHS tape. Seems to be the way of it. Yeah. Does, doesn't it?